have so many good tips to share with you guys. Go live your best life, girl. Or maybe I'm crazy. I know nobody wants to hear it, but I'm gonna say it. As I said before, <laughs> And the opinion of any dermatologist that ever learned anything about nails. What? Are you done? You scared me! Getting over that guy that dumped you in fifth grade. What? You're tired of damaging your nails with acrylic nails. Or maybe you just want your natural nails to stop breaking long enough to actually grow to a decent length. At the least, you want healthy nails. I'm gonna tell you guys how to get strong, healthy, natural nails. Hi! I'm back! Hi guys! Hi! Hi. Are we still friends? <laughs> it's only been eight months since my last video. That's progress. <laughs> I feel like so much has happened since the last time I talked to you guys. Some of it is obvious, but I will save that stuff for another video. For now, I'm back with more beauty advice, and I'm actually gonna make this a beauty series. You can check out my video on how to grow long, healthy hair. I'll leave it up here and down in the description below. I'm so surprised at how much you guys loved that video. It got so many views and everybody commented and so it showed so much love. I really didn't expect that, but I'm so happy you guys liked it. So along with my lifelong love for hair care, I have grown to really love nail care as well. I have so many good tips to share with you guys. First of all, I wanna clarify that long nails comes from healthy, strong nails because breakage from weak nails cancels out any growth. So I'm gonna tell you guys how to get strong, healthy, natural nails. Number one. I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I know nobody wants to hear it, but I'm gonna say it. Stop getting acrylic manicures. You have to stop getting acrylic manicures if you wanna take care of your real nails. By all means, go get those manicures. Don't let me stop you, go live your best life, girl. But stop watching this video because nothing after this is gonna help you. Every time you make that appointment, you are willingly damaging your nails. The process of these manicures is so damaging. They're using harsh chemicals, they're buffing away at your nail plate until there's almost nothing left. Not to mention, constantly wearing acrylics causes lifting and shortens your nail bed. Acrylic nails never really appeal to me. In fact, I've never had them done. I don't think I ever will either because I really enjoy taking care of my real nails. Instead of fixing yourself with all these fake things, why don't you just take care of the natural thing that you already have to begin with? Or maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. In all, I understand that the natural nail life is not for everybody, and that's okay. But just know that you are harming your natural nail if you choose to keep doing acrylic nails. Number two, the cuticles. In my humble opinion, and the opinion of any dermatologist that ever learned anything about nails, leave your cuticles alone. Let me be clear about something, because I know everybody's gonna be confused about this. People who cut and manipulate their cuticles do it because they think it looks good. They do not do this because it's healthy for the nail. In fact, according to dermatologists, it does quite the opposite. Cuticles are there for a reason and should not be cut off. Its purpose is to seal the skin at the base of the nail plate to protect from fungus and bacteria. Also, cuticles are supposed to be soft. By cutting them, you're creating a harder, drier cuticle. Lastly, there's a misconception that manipulating your cuticles is somehow going to make your nail grow faster. It doesn't work like that. Personally, I don't even push mine back. I used to because I thought this was an essential part of nail care. And the more I looked into it, the more I realized that there's really no benefit. Once I stopped pushing them back, I noticed them become much softer and I kind of just let them do their thing and they're not really a problem. They actually look nicer now that I leave them alone. However, if something absolutely must be done for your cuticles, I recommend just gently pushing them back with a wooden orange stick, nothing more. Tip number three, file your nails instead of cutting them. Trimming with nail clippers can be really harsh, especially for people with longer, firmer nails like myself. Cutting the nail that way causes pressure on the nail and can actually cause the nail to split. 
Filing is a much more gentle way of keeping your nails trimmed and equal in size. Try to always file in one direction as filing back and forth can weaken your nail and cause more nail snags. Changing the type of file I used was life changing. I used to use just anything I can get my hands on, but then I started using a glass filer and I realized how much easier it is working with finer grit. This is the one that I use, it's from Amazon. I'll link it down in the description. If you still opt for cutting your nails, I highly recommend using a curved scissor instead of a clipper. And still, always end with filing. Number four, use a nail brush to clean the dirt from under your nails instead of digging at it with a metal tool. Digging with those metal tools can cause the nail plate to separate from the skin. This can also create a weird, ununiformed shape at the end of your nail bed. You don't even have to buy a brush. If you just wanna use an old toothbrush, it works just as well. Number five, removing your polish gently with acetone-free nail polish remover. Acetone strips your nail of any moisture, causing them to become more brittle, thus breaking more easily. Anything past your cuticle is pretty much just dead cells, so it's not producing oil itself. Holding on to any moisture possible is so important for healthy nails. Nowadays, there's tons of alternative nail polish removers that don't include acetone, and they may take a little bit longer, but they're so much better for your nail health. This is the one that I use, and I noticed a huge difference after switching to a more natural nail polish remover. Also, while we're on the topic of removing nail polish, don't pick and peel your polish off, because this can cause a lot of damage to your nail plate as well. Okay, number six is actually one of the most important tips when growing strong, healthy nails, and that is to moisturize your nails and cuticles with oil. As I said before, a lack of moisture can cause brittle nails but oil restores this moisture and reduces breakage and thinning. So using oil daily can really strengthen your nail and improve your overall nail health. With that being said, there are tons of oils you can choose from and I pretty much tried them all. I've done my research and I've come to find that jojoba oil is the best for nails. This oil is really unique because it's actually the closest thing to our natural human sebum making it work really well on skin and nails. It's also one of the only oils that actually penetrates the nail rather than just sitting on top like a lot of other oils would. So I highly recommend jojoba oil for your nails and luckily it's one of the more affordable oils. I got mine off of Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. Number seven, equally as important, is keeping your nails dry. Now, if you work in a profession where frequent hand washing is required, you're gonna have to do some heavy duty moisturizer and you need to do it often. Every time you're washing, you are taking the moisture out of your fingernails. I used to be a bartender and bartenders always have wet hands. This is so bad for your nails. But I had a fellow bartender introduce me to this really heavy duty cream that's kind of meant for people in that industry. And I don't remember the exact name, but I'll leave it in the description below. This also goes for my girls who do a lot of housework. You have to wear gloves. I highly recommend wearing gloves for any activity that your hands are in water for a prolonged period of time. I recommend using rubber gloves that have cotton lining. I used to totally ignore this tip, but it makes such a huge difference. I wish I could undo all the time that I washed dishes or did anything without gloves on. So keep your hands dry as much as possible. Wear gloves. If you absolutely have to wash your hands a million times a day, use this heavy duty moisturizer and moisturize so much more than the average person. Tip number eight, be more cautious with your physical activity and stop using your hands as tools. I mean, technically they are tools, but stop using them unnecessarily. Stop prying open the keychain or the soda can. Don't press buttons with your nails. Don't open packages with your nails. Don't grip anything by your nails. Just be really cautious and gentle with whatever it is you're doing. If you're a very physically active person or you use your hands in a rough way on a daily basis, you're probably not gonna go without a nail break. And you know what? Some people don't wanna stop doing whatever rough physical activity they do in their lives, and that's fine. Just have short, healthy nails. There's nothing wrong with that. Short nails are cute. Just be more gentle with what you're doing. I'm speaking from experience. I have very long, strong, healthy nails. And when I do break them, it's because I decided to build new furniture or use my nails as a box cutter or just jamming my finger trying to move too fast doing something. 
But yeah, just be gentle. Tip number nine is avoid gimmicks. Be aware that on this nail journey, you are gonna come across gimmick after gimmick after gimmick. This is the beauty industry in a nutshell. Everybody is trying to sell you something to skip over all the hard work and the details it takes to get where you really wanna be. Just be careful because there is no magic pill or secret potion that's gonna help you grow your nails healthy and strong and five inches overnight. It just isn't real. So it's your job to recognize that when something seems too good to be true, it probably is. So save your money, do your research before you buy into something. I can go through the long list of things that claim to help grow your nails fast. There's no science behind half of them. But you know what is scientifically backed? A healthy diet. You are always gonna hear me say this because your outer beauty is just a reflection of what you put inside your body. Look for vitamins like biotin and vitamin E. These are vitamins that have been scientifically proven to strengthen weak, brittle nails. Look for it in foods primarily, and if you feel like you're not getting enough in your foods, you can look for supplements. Also try to eat foods that are high in protein, fish, beans, nuts, all that good stuff. I know I mentioned a healthy diet in my hair care video, but it just so happens that the same vitamins are needed for our hair, nails, and skin. So yeah, it's just a fact. Healthy diets are legit. Okay, really quick before I get to the last tip, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching me, for subscribing, for liking, for talking to me in the comments. It means so much to me. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and keep an eye out for my next beauty series video. And until then, you can follow me on my other social media platforms. I'm very active on Instagram. I will leave a link in the description below. Okay, tip number 10. This is the hardest one. Patience. Patience, young grasshopper. Like, what is patience anymore? It's 2020. Nobody waits for anything. Every aspect of our life is so instant. But nature rushes for no one and our human bodies are a part of that, so you better learn patience. There's some things that you just can't rush. You can't rush growing your hair, growing your nails, growing muscle, getting over that guy that dumped you in fifth grade. What? What? If there's anything you're gonna take away from this tip, it's truly good things take time. And if that's too inspirational for you, scientifically, Time is the only thing that can grow your nails. I just talked to myself for like two hours. Are you done? You scared me! Uh. Okay, are you done? Yes? You should learn the Six hours? You should learn the value of patience. Are you still recording? No. I think this oil, okay. You don't think, this is research. Uh. As I said before, <laughs> stop, uh, stop what? <laughs> but then I got, but then I realized working, but then I got a, then I got a, but then I got a, uh, oh, I 